Welcome to my garden <laughs> of olives. Guys, look at this beast. I am so excited. Oh, I just parted the olive seeds. As you can see, today I'm doing a massive Olive Garden des Des. I bought every single appetizer from Olive Garden and most of the desserts. I did not get all of them because it was getting a little pricey. <laughs> I have about 14 items here and I think it was around $140, $150. Not including tip. So, tip well. I have done an Olive Garden mukbang on my channel like a long time ago, but I've never done an Olive Garden taste test. I don't think. Wait, how did I? Let me make sure. I have taste tested so many things that I have to literally look <laughs> on my channel and see if I've tried it. So Olive Garden, Timmy Tomato. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I've only done an Olive Garden mukbang. That's it. So this is gonna be an olive oil filled moment. I personally love Olive Garden. A lot of people act like it's like, you know, like the trashy Italian place, but it's not. To me, it's classy, isn't it? I always feel like royalty when I'm there. I haven't been there in like a year because of hello 2020, but I always feel like an olive filled princess. And I don't even like olives, but I love Olive Garden. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, I wish it was, you know, maybe our gardens can collaborate, you know, in the future. Anyways, let's talk about the items I got. Now, Olive Garden is not on Uber Eats. DoorDash, Postmates, nothing in my area. I don't know why, but they do have delivery on their own website. It's like under like the catering section. So I kind of catered <laughs> my own little party today and I had to order the day before. So it was, it was quite complex, but it all worked out. The delivery was very smooth. I'm very satisfied with the service. I got the fried mozzarella, stuffed ziti frita, spinach artichoke dip, calamari. Oh, <laughs> Lasagna frita with marinara sauce. Classic shrimp scampi frita. Oh, I love the word frita. I feel so, I feel like Giardia, what's her name? She always talks like she's in an ASMR video. I love it. She's like, so now we're gonna take our mozzarella. <laughs> Queen of pronunciation. I also got the breadsticks with Alfredo dip. Toasted ravioli. A house salad. Pumpkin cheesecake, which is limited time only. Oh! Y'all know I love cheesecake. It really does something to me that I can't describe. It takes me to a creamy, dreamy place. I also got the tiramisu, the black Thai mousse cake, the chocolate brownie lasagna, and warm Italian donuts with raspberry sauce. I know I'm half Cuban, but guys, I think there must be some Italian in me. Let's unbox all the food. Okay, so we have a salad. There's a hole there. Was, some, was the dressing supposed to go there? You see the hole? And croutons maybe here? Maybe it fell out. Ah, here it is. Okay, so we have the dressing to go with our salad. We have some croutons here. Perfect. Love Olive Garden salad. Of course, I've had it a thousand times, but I have to get it. It is technically like an appetizer, right? I'm doing the full menu. Love the packaging. The packaging is very luxurious. Oh, oh, okay. So this is the, I think it's called a black Thai mousse cake or something like that. Never had it. Looks great. Smells like a fudgy dream. More croutons. Whoa, more croutons. More salad dressing. More salad dressing. We have some sort of raspberry sauce for one of the desserts. More salad dressing and more croutons. Lord, love that. Okay, ooh. This is the pumpkin cheesecake. It's limited edition. So I am a collector. I might keep it on my shelf. Just kidding. Has a bunch of sauces with it. Looks amazing. This is the... That's a tiramisu. Wow, very small slice. That is puny. Look at that next to my big ass head. That is tiny. Very disappointing. Damn Olive Garden. Are you trying to make me skinny? Because it's not going to work. I'm a binge on those croutons that you gave me. So this is the chocolate something lasagna. It might look just as small as the um, tiramisu, but it is much heavier. It's very heavy. It feels dense. So we love that. I think these are the Italian donuts. Looks great. Very nice portion. Um, oh, this is the raspberry sauce that goes with them. Makes sense. Oh, that smells like Dunkin' with a dash of Krispy Kreme. Here's the spinach and artichoke dip. Ugh. Y'all know how sometimes Parmesan is so strong that it can smell like booty hole? This does not smell like booty hole. This smells like good Parmesan, not too strong. Smells great. Here are the breadsticks, I think. All of Ryan's breadsticks are truly iconic. Bam! Here's the fried raviolis. Oh, those look so good with the marinara sauce. Have I had these before? I might have. Maybe. Here's the calamari. <laughs> okay, it doesn't smell fishy. You guys might be thinking, Timmy, why did you get calamari? You hate seafood. Well, two reasons. This is a full menu taste test, so I'm trying all the appetizers, every single one. And also, I had calamari once when I was a kid, and I remember it not being fishy, but it was like rubbery. So let's see 
If I like it now, I might, who knows? I know it's octopus, right? Or is it squid? It's a squid puss. Now what's this? What is this? Oh, this is the lasagna frita. So this is fried pieces of lasagna. Not a huge portion, but we'll see. A lot of Alfredo sauce, a lot. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I think this is called something shrimp. I'll check again uh, while I'm taste testing it. And of course, I'll tell y'all all the prices as I go. Oh, and of course, <laughs> another thing. At the end of the video, I will choose my favorite items and my least favorite items so that y'all know what's good on the appetizer menu at Olive Garden, just in my opinion. Once again, another seafood item, but I had to try it and I don't mind shrimp. A lot of y'all know this. If shrimp isn't too fishy, I will actually enjoy it, so. Ooh, oh, what is this? Oh, okay. These are the chips that go with the spinach and artichoke dip. Okay, that makes sense. They look very interesting, almost like pita chips or some kind of like dough. Here's some more Alfredo sauce for one of the items. That was like the most empty burp ever. Y'all know like those empty burps that are like just sad. They're like, I'm a burp, but truly I'm empty. This is the fried ziti type thing. I think it's little ziti noodles that are stuffed with something. Olive Garden was like, let's think of an appetizer menu. Just fry all the different pastas we have. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the fried mozzarella. Giada. I'm pretty sure that I've had the fried uh, mozzarella from there. <gasps> So good. Oh my lord. Okay, well, that's everything I got. I am going to set the food up, get my thumbnail, do my whole disinfection process where I transfer all the food to different plates. I wash my hands, I wash the table, and then we will start taste testing everything. Stay tuned. I'm ready to devour the garden. First things first, let's try the breadsticks with the alfredo sauce. Appetizer to the appetizers. <laughs> So of course I've had these breadsticks before, but I don't think I've had them with the Alfredo sauce. I don't think. It was $4.29. Um, you can choose out of three sauces, I think. Alfredo, marinara, and then one other. Okay, let's dip this in. Ooh. Okay, um, maybe because it's, 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 you know, not super fresh. It's not that creamy, it's just more kind of chunky. Okay, let's try it though. Mmm. Mmm, it works. <laughs> oh my god. Bitch. Mmm, that Alberta sauce is incredible. So, the thing that I love about Olive Garden's breadsticks is the fact that they're not that strong. They're not super garlicky, they're not super cheesy, they're just like really delicious fresh bread with a hint of buttery garlic on them. It's perfect. And it's especially perfect with this Alfredo sauce because this sauce is super strong, super Parmigiani, very salty, but in a good way. They work so well together, it just tastes like a match made in heaven. Now, this is kind of oily. It's like the oil has kind of separated a bit from the cheese itself, and you can see that, but you can't taste it. It tastes perfect, tastes creamy. Ugh. Plus, also, I think that the breadsticks are free with like any meal, right? So the $4 is this cup of cheese, I guess. I don't know. All I know is it's delicious and perfection. And um, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. So good, so good, so good. Next up, let's try these little stuffed fried ziti things. Everything's on the right track. But every time I fart around you, the stuffed ziti frita was $8.49. That's a typical appetizer price. And these prices are directly from Olive Garden, the actual store. So I did disinfect all these little cups, of course, with little disinfectant wipes, so don't worry about that. What kind of sauce is this? That's marinara. It's just really oily on top. It almost gives it like a buffalo, <laughs> like a buffalo sauce look, okay? And then we have more Alfredo sauce. Okay, I'm fine with that. Let's first try these by themselves. Mm. Oh, that took a second, but <laughs> oh my god! Wow, that filling, that filling is incredible. So 
You would think it would taste like a like lasagna type of like cheese layer inside because like it has that texture and it's white but it doesn't taste like that at all. It tastes a lot more like an Alfredo sauce, but just much thicker and denser. Um, so it's really flavorful, very cheesy. The outside of it is like pasta, but not like too hard and stale. It's like perfectly crunchy, but also soft. Ooh, wow, okay. Let's try this first with the marinara sauce. Mmm, that marinara is good. Mmm. I'm very good with marinara. Perfection. There's a hint of like a pepper flake flavor. Very good. Let's try it with the Alfredo. Mm. I think I like it better with the marinara because the Alfredo is like more creaminess on top of creaminess. So it's just like, I don't know. With the marinara, the sweetness of the tomato really cuts through the creaminess and saltiness of the ziti. Amazing. With the marinara, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, perfection. I would get this any day of the week. Oh, I did not think they would be that good. Oh, next up, let's try one of the desserts, okay? Let's try the black and white mousse cake thing. You treat me like a piece of trash. Your stank bitch ass face says it all. Eyes watering from the sun. It's called the black tie mousse cake, so it's for really fancy people in suits. It is $8.99, that's pretty pricey for a little slice of cake i'm sorry but this should be at most 6.99 not 8.99 that's a lot if it's gonna be that much give me a bigger slice so it has like a cakey layer on the bottom um some kind of a chocolate mousse and then some sort of a white mousse and then i think there's a ganache that's coating it with some chocolate chips on the edge here Ooh, ooh, ooh. oh my god very good mm. Delicious. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Let me take a moment. Okay. Mm. Ooh, pow. Oh. Very good. The chocolate cake is not too rich. I almost wish it was richer. The mousse is very light, very fluffy. Um, I feel like it could also be just a tiny bit richer itself. It's a little not watery, it's a little watered down with the flavor, but it's still delicious. I just think it could use a tiny bit more richness, um, but it is very light, very airy. Um, if you want a lighter dessert, this is definitely the way to go. This is not one of those um, desserts that you can only take like a couple bites out of and be done with. This one is like, you can eat two slices, you know? <laughs> very good, I have to give it an eight out of 10, but it is overpriced for sure. Next up, let's try one of the seafoody items. Let's do the calamari. <laughs> Like I said before, I have not had this since I was a kid and I had it one time at my friend's house. We have some more marinara and a different sauce. What is this? Ooh, smells like a tangy, cream cheesy type sauce. Very nice. And first try it by itself. Oh, Ursula, you fell. It smells like an onion ring, like full on. So chewy. Chewy. Very chewy. A little fishy. Is com some fish is coming through. Yeah, right all. Prince Eric's signing you. It's definitely not bad. It's a little fishy, but hello, it's seafood, so it's gonna be fishy. But it's not too strong. It doesn't take over. It doesn't ruin it. I would eat this. I wouldn't order it over like other items, but I would eat it if someone gave it to me. Great coating, very nice, crunchy, but not too thick. It is chewy, as expected. I mean, it's a squid. Um, but let's try it with this orangey sauce. Oh, sweet. Tangy. Mmm. That sauce is great. Mmm. What's it taste like? It's kind of like a ketchup, mayonnaise, relish vibe. For me, like this is seafood, this is very good for being seafood. So I'd have to give this a seven out of 10. And with the sauce, it's an eight out of 10. Much better than I expected, very nice. So if you like fish, I think you'll love that. Next up, let's try, ooh, let's do the salad. I love Olive Garden salad. I'll be with you never, cause my fart is forever. 
Okay, so I put it in a big salad bowl, of course. I've had their salad a million times. It's just one of my favorites. The dressing, there's no Italian dressing better than Olive Garden's dressing. I'm sorry, it's just the truth. It coats everything perfectly. It has the perfect tanginess. Um, the toppings are perfect besides the olives. I just avoid those because I don't like olives. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you guys the price of the um, calamari. The calamari was $11.79. I mean, it is seafood. Seafood's always kind of pricey, right? And now this salad was $7.79. That's a lot. I think that if you go in person, which wait until after Rona, I think that you get either a salad or a soup for free with your meal, right? If you get like a meal. So $7 for something that's free. It's not a cute look. Let's try it. Mmm. I've had this so many times and it's so good. Love the soaked croutons. Ooh. Mmm. Tastes so fresh and tastes radiant. Tastes like a L'Oreal commercial. It's just simple and so refreshing. Just refreshing. Fun fact, you can buy their salad dressing at the store. It tastes almost just as good. It's very good. There is something a tiny bit off. I think it's like the added preservatives or something. I don't even know, but it tastes almost like the real thing. A 10 out of 10. Oh, next up, let's try the spinach and artichoke dip. My farm might smell like a hard boiled egg, but you should still love me the same. Okay, so I have my chips here. I think they're chips. Pasta chips, maybe? What are they? Crackers? Uh, ooh, something. I have my dip here. This was $10.49. Olive Garden really has some pricey appetizers. A lot of other um, sit-down places charge maybe like $7.99. A lot of the ones here are over $10. It's really pricey, so keep that in mind, of course. Um, I want to find out what this is first. It's not very good. Okay, it's good. Tastes like a really fried pita chip. Let's try this. Mmm. 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 Wow. It's good, but I will say these chip cracker things are too oily. It's too much oil. You can taste the oil, you can feel it. They're not bad, they're just too oily. Now, the dip is so good, but it's a little too salty. To be honest, if you don't like a lot of salt, I would not suggest this. Otherwise, the flavor is incredible. It's very creamy, delicious. So, altogether, I'd have to say this is a six out of 10. It could be amazingly delicious. It just has some issues going on, in my opinion. Next up, let's try the Italian donut. You need to accept my rotten trash gas, or you can go straight to hell. You can sniff my ass. The warm Italian donuts with raspberry sauce are $7.99. I mean, out of all the desserts, this has a big portion. This is very shareable. They feel very soft, very pillowy. They're covered in, it looks like a mix of powdered sugar and granulated. It's like, it's like in between. <laughs> On a first try by itself. Very fluffy. Simple. Feels like a plain sugary donut. It's good, just super simple. Let's try it with the raspberry sauce. Mmm, tastes like a jelly donut. They have a choice of, um, I think, chocolate sauce and maybe caramel, I'm not sure. Honestly, it's great. If you love jelly donuts, you will love this. This tastes like melted jelly. This tastes like a plain donut. Very simple, but classic. That's nice. So. I'd give this a nice seven out of 10. Not my favorite dessert, I'm not snatched, but it's still good. Let's do another sweet one. Let's do the tiramisu. And munch on my dirty crack. I'll be with you never. Okay, so I always thought that tiramisu was like a Latin thing, but I think it's Italian, right? Every time that I missay something, you guys always educate me and I'm always very grateful for that. A lot of people get like defensive when they're educated and I'm like, I want to I say things correctly. Now, like I said before, this is a teeny tiny slice. 
You know, if you're going to a sit down restaurant like this, you expect a nice large dessert and not something small. It should be a shareable size, but this is quite small. It's $7.99, should be $5.99 or something like that. I see some coffee soaked lady fingers, some, this is not ricotta, right? It, what's the cheese named? It's a special Italian cheese that I always forget the name of because I always think that it's ricotta and it's not ricotta. It's like a really creamy, sweet cream cheese type thing. Anyways, I think this is some cocoa powder on top. No, this is thicker than cocoa powder. What is that? Maybe just some chocolate sauce? Okay. Let's try this. A lot of coffee is coming out of there. See that? It's like kind of soaked in there. I've had much better tiramisu. The thing about tiramisu is that it's supposed to have a coffee flavor, and this one does, but it's also supposed to have a very sweet, creamy cream on top that kind of balances out that coffee flavor, and this cream isn't sweet enough. It's just very tame. It almost tastes like Starbucks whipped cream on top of some coffee ladyfingers. That's what it tastes like to me. I had tiramisu from somewhere recently. Was it Outback Steakhouse? Somewhere? I'm not sure it was like the best tiramisu ever. It was so creamy and big and delicious. This is very disappointing to me. I'm not a fan of it. I just think it's not nearly as good as it should be. And it's overpriced. So this is a four out of 10. Sorry. Next up, let's try the lasagna frita. Did you know? I've got guys lined up waiting to sniff my fart, but I don't even. The lasagna Frida is ten dollars and ninety nine cents. That's way overpriced for this amount. Look at that. That's like mm -mm, that should be seven ninety nine, and it comes with Alfredo sauce. I think you can choose between sauces once again, which is great. I want to first try by itself. Mmm, oh my good. <laughs> I think I've had this. Mmm. Oh. I'll pay what I have to for this. <laughs> Let's try it with the Alfredo sauce. Mmm. Oh my god. These are delicious. Amazing. So, they are a lot like the ziti, the little um, fried zitis, I think it's the same filling. It's like almost like lasagna filling, but it's not. It's way more flavorful, which is amazing. They have literal layered noodles in, in here, which is just so cool. They have more of a breading on them than the um, ziti, which just gives it more of a crunch. They might be even better than the ziti, and those zitis are amazing. So, ooh, I want to try it with the marinara. Hmm. I think these ones somehow pair better with the Alfredo sauce, and I don't know why. Incredible. I love this. This is a 10 out of 10. If you love fried things and you love lasagna, this is for you, girl. We only have five items left. We have the fried mozzarella, the fried ravioli, the shrimp, the pumpkin cheesecake, and the chocolate lasagna. Let's do, let's do the shrimp, okay? For better or worse, for cleaner, for stink, a smell doesn't need to be tamed. You can sniff my ass. The classic shrimp scampi Frito was $11.49. That's a very normal price for seafood. Um, they come with tons of lemons, so let's just squeeze those on. Okay. Now, shrimp scampi is um, shrimp and pasta in a in like a garlicky, lemony sauce, right? Let's see what this sauce is. That's like a garlicky, lemony fart. <laughs> it smells good, but also kind of weird. Let's... Try it. Mmm. Oh, I don't even like shrimp and this is amazing. Mmm. Maybe it's so lemony. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't smell like fish. No, it's not fishy at all. These are like the least fishy shrimps I've ever had. They have such a strong lemony garlic flavor that I don't taste any fishiness. And like usually shrimp, I don't mind them, but there's always that hint of oceanicness. And this doesn't have it. This is just delicious shrimp. Wow. For shrimp, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Oh, what? Me giving seafood a 10 out of 10? It's true. It's that good. Oh. Next up, let's try the pumpkin cheesecake limited edition. Cause my fart is forever. This pumpkin cheesecake was $8.29. Now, cheesecake usually is quite hefty and quite big. This is a pretty big slice. 
And it's usually shareable because sometimes it's just too rich to finish on your own. So let's see. Ooh, the texture. Oh my god, I love cheesecake so much. Let's get some caramel. It came with whipped cream too, but when I opened up the whipped cream container, it exploded all over me. So I couldn't use it. It literally, I was like, what? It exploded. Anyways, let's try this pumpkin cheesecake. Oh! Oh, as a pumpkin pie whore, and as a cheesecake whore, this is just next level. Oh my god. Okay, so it's so light and fluffy. It has the texture of pumpkin pie. But the flavor of pumpkin pie and cheesecake together. Oh my god. Okay, I have to slow down. Calm down, Jimmy. You still have more things to try. Oh, wow. Okay. It truly is just the perfect blend of pumpkin pie and cheesecake. Like, there's nothing else to say. It's perfection. And if you're ordering from Olive Garden, make sure to get this if you want a holiday-ish dessert. It's just, oh, it's amazing. This is a 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10. Next up, let's try the fried mozzarella. I'll keep farting till I find the person that's right for me. Until then. I have had this for sure. The fried mozzarella was $7.79. I think that's a good price. It's not over $10 like the other um, appetizers. It is lukewarm, but that's literally how I like my mozzarella sticks. I don't like them to stretch and stuff. I like to just bite through it, okay? Let's first try it without the sauce. Mmm. 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 <laughs> oh my god. So good. The cheese is so salty but like in like that good quality mozzarella kind of way. The breading is perfect, not too greasy. Um, it has some kind of, what is that, parsley? I don't, there's some green stuff all over. I think it's parsley. Makes it taste so good. There's some Parmesan cheese sprinkled on top. It's just perfection. It's, it's a lot like Cheesecake Factory's mozzarella sticks, a lot. So let's try it with the marinara now. Mmm, marinara, mmm. The marinara sauce really, once again, cuts through the cheese's saltiness and balances it out perfectly. It really is that big. Wow. 10 out of 10. Flawless. Flawless. We only have two items left, guys. We have the chocolate lasagna and the toasted or fried ravioli. Ah! Let's do the fried raviolis first and save this for our final dessert. <laughs> The toasted ravioli was $9.49. Mm, okay, at least it's under $10, okay? They're very golden brown. I think that they're like the most golden brown out of all these fried items. They look so appetizing, don't they? So let's try it. Crispy. What's in them? I thought it was cheese. It's like meat. Okay. Different. Hmm. Let's try it with the marinara. I don't know about this one, guys. I don't think this meat filling works for me. It's very pasty. I know that, you know, it's supposed to be like a paste, but it's like really, really pasty meat. Um, it reminds me a lot of like the Chef Boyardee canned ravioli, which I used to love as a kid, but just like a little bit better quality and more crunchy. I don't know, I expect something better. For me, this is a five out of 10. Last but not least, the lasagna something. Let me see what it's called. I'm happy with the warm ass gas inside of me. This is the chocolate brownie lasagna. Ooh, $7.99, pricey, but wait, why is the mousse cake $9 and this is $8? That makes no sense to me. I see layers of some sort of cream, brownie, cream, brownie, cream, brownie, and then on top there's some like chocolate shavings and some chocolate sauce. Let's see how this is. I've never had it before. Very interesting. <laughs> oh my God. This slapped me in the face. Very rich. This took all the richness from the mousse cake. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like a cream-filled chocolate. Like, 
Exactly, but just in cake form. It has that same really heavy cream richness. There's a bit of cream cheesiness in it as well. Um, I really like it. It's just super, super, super rich. Too rich. Um, but it's delicious. It's so good. I have to give this a 9 out of 10. The texture is amazing. It's like brownie-ish, but also cake-ish and layered and ooh, so good. I tried everything, guys! So let's choose my three least favorite items and my three favorite items, okay? Least favorite, I'm gonna have to go with the tiramisu. Not here for it. The toasted ravioli. Not here for it either. And everything else was good. Like, everything else. I guess I'll have to say the spinach and artichoke dip, even though it was delicious. It was too salty and too oily. So now let's choose my three favorites. I think I'm gonna go with the, the fried stuffed ziti. So good. The lasagna frita, amazing. And I think number one has to go to the pumpkin cheesecake. It's just the perfect blend of everything. And it's a limited item. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this whole video, you're a true tomato. It was a long taste test. So leave a comment that says, fried lasagna sounds iconic. <laughs> I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. I'll see you on next video, okay? I love you so much. Oh, oh, oh.